Terrence Laverne Walker II faces a judge in this courthouse today. Police accused Walker of fatally shooting a man during a carjacking Tuesday night. After a fourth pedestrian was struck by a high-speed Brightline train in just a matter of two months, more residents are voicing their safety concerns. One woman has made it her mission to make sure every survivor here in Palm Beach County have a place to call home and to heal. Becky Diamond was minding her own business, as she puts it, when she heard a talk about modern day slavery happening around the world and right here in the United States. With years of homeschooling her kids behind her, Becky was pursuing a master's degree in mental counseling when the information of women, men, and children trapped in human trafficking startled her to action. And then about, I think it was November 2015, we opened the safe house. And so that's been a really critical part because 92% um, of women in the life would leave if they had a better option. And so often, you know, they don't have any other options or they can't imagine any other options. And so having a safe house is really a critical piece of he helping women to be able to escape that and to rebuild their lives, you know, begin to address the trauma. In 2011, Becky launched Hepzibah House in Palm Beach County to help women seeking healing from the nightmare of human trafficking. It began with mental counseling, but soon Becky saw the need for more. This is the first total eclipse in the United States since 1979. The moon is going to cross in front of the sun. In South Florida, we're only going to have about 80% coverage. So we're going to watch right now, the moon is about over this much of the sun. It's going to move slowly across until about 80% of it is covered. We have a special solar filter that's cutting out 99.999% of the light. Going through here, we're seeing ooh, about half of the sun and we can see the disk of the moon crossing the sun right now. I can even see sunspots. I'm gonna hold that, you take a look, and I bet I get a wow from you. Okay. Well, thank you so much for all that you guys do here year around, and especially for today. Thank you so much. As you can see, everyone's excited, and for good reason. This is the first total solar eclipse in 99 years. Reporting for WRNB News, I'm Bridget Sylvester. This is why tourists flock to South Florida, our beautiful beaches. And with tourism a vital part of our local economy, coastal cities like Deerfield Beach are shoving out millions in the fight against sand erosion. If you're one of those Florida drivers that likes texting while driving, well, you should know there's a bill moving through the Senate right now that would make texting behind the wheel a primary offense, which means if you're caught texting behind the wheel, you could be the next person to get a $158 fine. 